So welcome back guys, welcome 1313. It's episode 31, and I'm finally proud to say that I've completed the front section of this mock. I can't really say it with the rest of it, but it's it's coming along, it's getting there very soon. Within like a month or two, I think it should be done. So in this episode, we actually complete the gun shop slash droid. It's kind of a combination of the two. There'll be a bunch of droid parts hanging from the ceiling, as well as like a bunch of shelves showcasing a lot of blasters. And as well as, I really want to have some sort of gun case like behind the cash register all nice and glassed up but that's enough of me talking let's go actually do it so after two very long years this front section is finally complete and i couldn't have asked for a better final result like the scale of 1313 is pretty insane right now because when i stand next to it it's almost it's almost eye level to me and i'm about six foot so when i stand right here this is about almost six feet it's like five and a half feet so I actually finished off this overall section. Make sure to include some little bit greebling pipes right there. I like the overall look so far. I just kind of want to finish this section because it makes sense that it would continue going upwards instead of having an abrupt end right here, which isn't the best look, I think. But I really tried to include a lot of color in a very gray section of this mock. So I put some red right there, little accent colors and dark blue right there and at the very bottom. And I thought this was a cool technique of including a chain wrapped around the pipes. Because why not? It looks really good so far. But I also included Jar Jar Binks being thrown off by General Grievous. And as of filming this, today is actually the release date of the Skywalker Saga. And I can't wait to play that. So this is a little off topic, but I actually have a gaming PC. I specifically upgraded my GPU for that game. And it's kind of overkill GPU, but... I'm super excited to finally play Skywalker Saga after like two years of waiting. That's gonna be pretty cool playing on Channel Grievous. Hopefully they actually include is Starfighter on the platform on episode three. So I'm finished with the droid shop slash gun range slash gun shop. So I was actually super nervous around this section. I was looking at a bunch of different reference photos of different gun shops in the world and as well as sci-fi gun shops, but I knew I really want to include some sort of display case showing off a nice arsenal. So that's how I accomplished that. So the cool thing about these little display cases, they're actually wall panel pieces that are just like glass. There's actually a gap in between the brick and the panel itself. And I was thinking, wait a second, I can like shove some guns in it so it looks like it's being displayed. And I must say the overall effect turned out so amazing. Also put an M16 in there, and a bazooka, and an AUG on the very bottom right. And I thought it was really cool details, because some of them are, the majority are actually Star Wars weapons. Like right back there, there's actually a long hilted lightsaber, which looks very good. And cool thing about that, you can see on the reflection, there actually is a cash register right there, which makes sense because this is a shop, so that is such a nice small detail that actually brings it more to life. And look off to the left, little bathroom I actually put in here, because that 2x2 two two tile is actually custom printed. And in the center of the room, it's actually like a bargain bin area, you have to just throw things, and there's some droid parts. I take you guys to the left side, I really wanted to have some sort of gun range, because I've had this little mock. The challenge for me was like, making everything look cohesive, and make sure it looks like in one single shop. So I really want to have some sort of barrier because of course there'd be a gun shop, the gun range, and there's like a wall in between the two because you can't shoot anyone else in the store. So I had those panel pieces. And I was like, oh my God, I have to use these. So I put some nice panel pieces in between the two. So when you're standing here, you can watch people destroy the droids. I must say, this is probably one of my favorite sections of 1313. I know I say that like almost every week, but Having little modulars and just throw it into the mock is such a nice feeling. That's good point 1313. I must say, it really does fill up the area very nicely. Like each corner is detailed enough, but not too much. And it's a very good first floor for this building. Of course, I'm not going to add any more stories with the actual interior. It's all going to be a facade. So, and you can also imagine this being like one story above this and it's gonna look very nice when it's all done. Well, that's everything this week. Let's go out the outro. So what'd you guys think about this week's episode? I'm super happy with the overall progress 
of the front section just being completely done. So I really don't have to worry about that too much. The cool thing about this, I can I built it in sections. So it's really easy for me to break this section off so the whole part comes off and goes straight across. So I can actually in access the interior while I'm still designing. Because that's one thing I was really worried about when I built this. If I built it into the mock itself, it would have been super difficult for me to reach the interior. But now that I know that I can just take this whole layer off, it's gonna be a lot faster for me to actually build more of the street and as well as the buildings on the opposite side of this. That's something I'd love to accomplish next week, but I'd like to know what you guys think about this in the comments below. Have a great day and see you next time.